Jackson County, our Sheriff Gary Schutte and CEO at American One Credit Union, Martha Furstenau. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Great to have you with us today, and we wanted to have you here because you two are teaming up to uh, make our community safer. That's correct. Yes, we, um, so it, you probably know we've been uh, trying to put together a canine unit for the Jackson County Sheriff's Office for, well, ever since I became sheriff. And one of the hurdles has been financing it. Mm. And uh, it's been very difficult for us to get all of the money necessary to put together to actually get a dog to go through the training process, um, to have a vehicle, to have it outfitted and do all the things that we need to do uh, for the dog throughout its training experience. So um, we presented this problem to American One uh, Credit Union, and they graciously donated twenty-five thousand awesome. dollars. Wow. That's awesome. Now you own, you know, you own a, a animal shelter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just go down. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> These I are very specific <laughs> breed and training, correct? It is. Yes. Uh, so there's a couple of different dogs that we can choose from. One obviously is the German Shepherd. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, now we're looking at uh, possibly a Malinois, uh, and I think that's probably the breed we'll go with. It's very similar to the German Shepherd breed, but these dogs are highly, highly intelligent animals, um, and they're looked at, as soon as they're born, they're looked at for different traits mm. to see if whether or not they fit the mold mm. for a police canine. And then they go through a training process right after they're born and they continue on through. Um, so what will end up happening is we will choose a deputy and uh, which is scheduled tentatively right now for the 27th and 28th of June uh, that we're running our interviews. And then the deputy will choose the dog. So we want to make sure okay. there's, a, there's a good fit between the deputy and the dog. Martha, this uh, partnership once again shows uh your dedication to the community and your members um, when it comes to safety, really. Mm -hmm. That's right. So uh, we started this conversation with the sheriff and the under sheriff um, in the fall, um, talking about a number of, of strategies that American One wanted to work with, with the department, um, including fraud. Uh, and, um, and, then, and then we always ask the question, you know, what, what do we need to know? What do you need? This was, of course, right when we were going through the the millage for the the space but you know they brought up the uh, canine program that had been abandoned mm -hmm. um, from the past and you know you just don't know till you ask um, you know what's the need in the community and I think it resonated with us for a couple of reasons um, first of all we understood um, you know if someone is missing or you know they need to do a search for someone and you don't have that canine you're waiting and you're losing valuable time right. for that in that search and um, and then there's a public component to the dog as well so the dog has a responsibility um, also to be out in the community yeah. and, and um, you know we know how important that is and can help I think you know just help people understand what all the sheriff's department does right. through even through the dog. Yeah. It's amazing how, how smart these animals are and the relationship with uh, the officer and, and handler, if you will. Mm -hmm. I, we got to witness a, uh, a demo once with uh, Officer Steve Scarpino, <laughs> and um, it's amazing. He put a little uh, vial of uh, a substance that was very, very illegal underneath my license plate and a little message to the dog went around my car and it, it's just amazing watching watching the animals work but they assist in so many areas of law enforcement they really do martha did you get naming rights for the dog <laughs> <laughs> we talked about that but we uh, i think uh, we understand that the dog is going to come with a name and we don't want to confuse the dog with renaming but <laughs> will the dog <laughs> speak <laughs> check <laughs> i know some of some that's of a them. good one yeah yeah, yeah. you never know <laughs> This is not the first time American One has supported the Sheriff's Department. I remember uh, several years ago, they had a car in the uh, American One Event Center, the old one, yeah. and it was radios. I, I can't remember. Defibrillators, I think. Defibrillators, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when we know there's a need, we, we try to support and um, have those conversations. You partner on a fraud fighting roundtable, and fraud is it's just getting so intricate. These 
these folks do this for a living and uh, it's something we all need to be aware of. What type of conversations are you guys having uh, at these roundtables, Martha? Well, we're inviting all sorts of folks and so I think that's the most important thing that we have a number of financial institutions in attendance um, from surrounding areas as well as Jackson and then we have law enforcement there mm -hmm. in all different sorts of capacity and and we host and it's hosted out on Channer Road so um, it just gives us an opportunity to share our stories and that helps us all um, be more aware of all the different ways that fraud is occurring yeah. in our community which is just a thousand different ways every single day mm -hmm. it's just re it's just re a relentless yeah. um, attack on our community that we're trying to um, you know just try to stop where we can yeah Gary does the um, deputies are uh, as a competitive which deputy is going to be able to be the canine officer it is so we'll have an interview process and um, We'll have a couple of different people come in for those interviews, and we're not going to rely just to, uh, solely on my staff. So we'll have uh, Jim King. He's a Michigan State Police Trooper mm -hmm. uh, in charge of their canines. Uh, he's going to come in and assist us with the interview process. We're also uh, contemplating on having one of our, our former canine uh, deputies uh, be involved in it as well. We haven't mm -hmm. decided on which one yet, um, depending upon mm -hmm. scheduling. And then, uh, of course, we're going to have uh, probably captain of patrol um, and likely the lieutenant of patrol uh, involved in it as well. So we're still discussing how we're going to uh, comprise that uh, panel, but they're going to they're going to be asked a battery of questions. Yeah. There's a there's a ton of responsibility with that with that animal. Um, in particular, they have to have their own house. They can't live in an apartment, mm -hmm. right? They have yeah. to have the ability to have the the, the animal fenced outside, uh, and of course, they're going to have to um, feed the animal take it to its veterinarian appointments, mm -hmm. take care of the animal just like it was their own. However, it's a working dog, and that's mm -hmm. what a lot of people have the misconception that you're bringing in a pet into the right. home. This is a working dog. Sure. It's very high-strung and uh, wants to work. Mm -hmm. uh, they really want to go out there and do right. things. So there's a lot of things that go into this interview and the selection process to make a determination that we get the right fit. How soon do you think before we... Uh see uh, the new or new canine unit uh, out and about? I would I would estimate um, with the training uh, and the selection process that we'll have it done probably by middle to the end of fall. Oh, nice. Yeah, you mentioned, Martha, um, you know, if a child goes missing, that, to me that is, that, there's a whole worth right there, mm -hmm. you know, to have uh, mm -hmm. a, a tracking dog. And, and it's a multi-purpose dog. They can do a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, you know, so this year we've had three people missing. Um, fortunately, we found all three of them. All three we've requested for canine mm -hmm. assistance through other agencies. Mm -hmm. um, on two occasions, we weren't able to get it. So on one occasion, we were. Um, but the time lapse was, was such that it, it wasn't, right. it, well, it really, really was, wasn't conducive to a good search. So um, this will be really huge for mm -hmm. us when it comes to missing people. And you see that more often now with um, dementia patients, um, uh, sadly, and uh, um, every, every now and again, and the occasional child uh, that'll mm -hmm. go missing. Um, one of the folks earlier this year uh, was a suicidal person mm -hmm. uh, that went up, that ended up being missing. And so having a canine on the ground is just really, really critical. I consider a, a break-in as well, which you know we have a lot of. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's so so many uh, so many uses. Um, I'm sure we're just the tip of the iceberg. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a uh, busy summer event season, and I know American One has a lot of things going on. I know your department is uh, uh, very is, active. Yeah, yeah. everywhere, mm -hmm. all weekend, every weekend. Uh, we sure appreciate that. And you've got um, the horses out at some of the events as well. Yes. Yeah. The, so our mounted division. Sadly, we suffered a couple of losses. Um, so right now, we're, uh, we have three people in our mounted division. We had a lot more than that. Um, one of our members uh, passed away mm -hmm. um, suddenly from cancer. Uh, and then a couple of our members had to resign uh, and retire out. Um, so we're looking for more mo mounted members. So if okay. anybody out there is interested, please let me know. <laughs> You went horseback riding once. I did once. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I did once. Well, we'll sign you up. I could do the trot, maybe. <laughs> I, I'll do a parade or something. Okay. But I could not be active 
and assist in, in a I, case. We can train them. Okay. <laughs> can train them. I can picture you on a horseback. No, you can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice try. Yeah. Well, thanks for the partnership, and yeah. thanks for coming awesome. out today. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Uh, American One President and CEO Martha Fristenau and Jackson County Sheriff Gary Schutte. Uh, we're going to the farm coming up on the morning show.